Okay, guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we created our book action. So with this video, we are going to focus on creating reducer for our book. So let's head over to our um, SRC folder. So inside my reducers, let me close my action folder. Inside my reducer, let's create one subfolder called books. Okay, because we need have books reducers. So let me handle all my books reducers here. So I will say the first one will be what? Create book reducer. All right. So reducer is also a function that is going to listen to the kind of action that has been triggered. And then it will change the state accordingly. So let's get started. So let me also create a function called create book reducer is equal to a function. And this function takes in two arguments or parameters. The first one is your state, your initial state. And by default, I would say an empty object. And the action that is coming into this reducer. So here, I'm going to check, for example, say if action dot type, if the action dot type that is coming is equal to let me say create book request then we can change the state accordingly we can change the state here accordingly right so instead of this one i'm going to make use of what is called a switch statement they, they all work in the same way but most often we normally use a switch statement inside our reducers so Let's say my switch here, and I'm going to check the action dot type. If the action dot type, in the case action dot type, is equal to create book request. Do I have above there? Create book request. I didn't have the auto import. What's wrong? Let me see. I think I have to do it manually. So let me import it here. Import, I think, on one action, sorry, actions. I think we're go up again in my actions and then my action types. So here, I want to grab create book request here. All right. So when you have this action coming in, what do you want to do? I want to return my new state. And I will say I will put loading to true because when you start making a request by default, it's true. The loading is true. It's loading. Let me put it that way. So, but if everything goes on well and we have a case of Create book success. What do I need? I want to return a new state and put the data on my book property and say action dot payload. If you are confused about the action of payload, it means that when something goes, when everything goes on well, let's head over to our action here. Sorry, my action this. So on book success, what do I need? I have a property called payload, and on payload is called the data. And data is coming back when I create a book. And as you can see for this one, this is a payload. So when I create a book, for example, this, I think I have an error because I haven't finished starting my server. So that's a payload. So I have to handle it here. And the next property is called when something goes wrong. So on my last case here and when something goes wrong that is create book fail what do i need i will return the error that is coming and first i will say my loading will be false because they have finished loading and my payload my error sorry my error i want to put my error message on this error property here which is action dot pale because the action that is coming it can be success or error right so 
let me export this so export create book reducer right so now i have my reducer that is going to listen to any action and change my state accordingly all right so in the next video we are going to create our store but before that we need to return initial state when there is no action coming in so we have one property called default default means that when none of these is being called or this action being called i have to return back my state otherwise readers will complain about that so guys this is how we create a reducer and in this video we create our store and connect our action and our reducer together